Hello everyone, this is Isa. In today's video, I'll show you how to download Windows 10 for free on your virtual box. First thing we need to do, let's go to Google and write Windows 10. Windows 10 ISO. After that, we click on the first one, Microsoft. I will also include this link in the description so you can guys download it. We're going to click on download tool now. Save. And now we're going to run the file. And by the way, this is not only for your virtual box. In fact, you can also use this copy of Windows on your computer. Uh, it's not fully activated, but you can use it for many different use for gaming or for, for whatever you want to use. The only different will be that you're going to have a watermark down to the bottom that it says that it's not activated as well as losing some feature. For example, changing the wallpaper or like getting updates. But in, in my case or in your case, if you wanted to install it on your virtual box, we don't really care about that features because we use it as a system that we're going to test many tools on it. So that's not a problem as long as we have a Windows in our virtual box for free. So now it's getting things ready. Okay. So as you see, guys, it says, what do you want to do? Do you want it to upgrade your PC or you just want to create the installation media? like USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file. What are we looking for is ISO file. I don't need to upgrade my PC, so I'm going to click here. I'll go with next. We're going to use the recommended options for this PC. That's fine. Can go next. Okay, so do I want it on a USB flash drive or I want it as ISO file? What I really want is ISO file because I want to use it on my virtual box. I'm going to go with that next okay and now it's downloading it might take time so we will wait for our windows 10 to download and after that we're going to continue with installing windows 10 on our virtual box great now that we have successfully downloaded windows 10 let's go ahead and click finish and let's go to our virtual box and let's start creating Windows 10 machine. First thing we need to do, we're going to click on new. I'm going to name it Windows 10. Okay, so I'm going to go with next. This is asking you in here how many memory you want to give your machine. It says the recommended size is 2048. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it around three gigabytes. I'm going to go next. And this is telling you that the recommended size for the hard disk is 50 gigabytes. So now what we're going to do, let's go ahead and create the virtual hard disk. And we're going to leave it as VDI, which is virtual box disk image. Okay. So let me explain this step. This step, you have two options. You have the first option, which you can choose that it's going to be a fixed size where your machine is not going to exceed the size that you're going to give. So you will need to delete some files if you wanted to use the machine in case that it's full. The other option that I prefer is dynamically allocated. Dynamically allocated is that while you're using the machine, when you need extra storage, when you need extra space, so that will expand your storage. I like that one because I don't know how much I will use it and I mean Worst case scenario, if I reach a level where it's taken a lot of storage, I can easily delete the virtual machine and install it all, all over again. So let's go ahead and choose next. This is the recommended hard disk. Uh, they say it's 50 gigabytes. I'll leave it as the recommended. And go next. Okay, now we created our machine. What we need to do in here, choose Windows 10, go to settings. After that, let's go to system. And in here, if you see, this is the processor. They gave it uh, one CPU, I would say, like, let's go to the green. I'll, I'll, I'm going to give it six. Uh, that's the RAM, by the way. I don't need the floppy disk. Okay, let's go for display. All good. Storage. Okay, so now let's go in here and let's choose a disk. 
gonna click in here choose a disk file I'm gonna go to documents because this is where we downloaded Windows as you see this is the the copy that we have and I'm gonna go with OK and now let's start our machine that also might take time it asking me from here which one I'm gonna install and this is my Windows I'll click on that one start Okay, here we go. Now you can choose whatever language you want. I'm just going to keep everything as it is. I'll go with next. Install now. Okay, so as you see in here, it asks you if you wanted to activate Windows and you have the key. Whenever you buy the key and you want to activate it, feel free to do so. I don't need it as this environment will be just for testing. So I'm just going to go and choose. I don't have a product key. And then you choose whatever you like in here. I'm going to go with the first one. Next. I accept. Next. If you are, if you don't have the key, you can't have this type of feature. So what we're going to do is we're just going to install Windows. Um, it's going to give you everything in here. Let's go with next. When we get to this step, this step will take time. So feel free to grab yourself a cup of coffee while we're waiting for Windows to install. Okay, and now we get to this options. We're gonna go yes, United States. Now this is just the normal setup for Windows. I go skip. And this is will ask you about your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you can click on create one and you go ahead and enter your Microsoft account. Okay, let me create a bank real quick. Okay, let's now it's setting up our new operation system for our virtual box i'm gonna go with accept i'm gonna do that later i don't like cortana so i'm just gonna say no now we are waiting for our new windows day. okay so now that we have our windows 10 and our virtual box as you see in here what the first thing we need to do let's go ahead and see first if it works i'm gonna open the browser and as you see it's a functioning as you see it's a function in windows 10 on our virtual box everything looks fine no problems what do we need to do now okay so i'm just gonna power off the machine gonna click ok now we need to go to settings after that, we're going to go to storage and I'm going to delete Windows from here because we already did the setup. If you didn't delete this, that means you will keep installing Windows again and again and again. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete, remove. OK, let's go ahead and start our Windows. And as you see now, our Windows is starting. There you go put your pin code okay and this is our windows now that we know our windows is functioning well it doesn't have any problems doesn't have any issues what's the next important step to do what we need to do right now i will go ahead and power off my machine one more time i'm gonna go file close power off the machine you go to your windows and you're gonna right click and clone the machine what that will do it's gonna give you another copy of your windows 10 so in case any problem happened when you were trying tools or trying anything in your operating system and this is how we do it clone windows 10 clone i'll leave everything as it is next and i'm gonna do a full clone into machine state which means we already tested the machine it works it had no problem so i want the exact same copy if something happened clone and now it's going to give me another functioning copy of my windows 10 okay so as you see right now we have windows 10 clone that the copy of my windows this is what you will be using all the time this windows 10 and that's just a backup and trust me guys it is so important to do that I had trouble before when where I did a lot of work. 
um, and suddenly I lost my my virtual machine. It stopped working for whatever reason, and I wasn't able to do anything. But luckily, I had a clone, so I just started for another clone, and I didn't need to go through installing the the virtual machine all over again. That's my video for today. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment. I will be more than happy to help you. And feel free to watch my other videos. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.